ready to rise. I'm back here at Tampa Honda and of course, Tampa, Florida. And I have the sweet spot of the Honda Civic lineup. This is a 2020 Honda Civic EX Coupe. But before we dive into this, let's talk a little bit about what the Civic means to Honda and the auto industry. The Civic has always been that go-to for very inexpensive, reliable, sporty, fun transportation. Now what's great is, is with the Civic, you could get a coupe, you could get a sedan, or you could get a hatchback. And that's so smart of Honda to do that, especially in this 10th generation. Now, it's been a few years since the redesign, but they did do a major refresh for 2019 on the coupe and the sedan. And what I really wanna focus on is around this question is, if you're a first time driver, if you're looking for a daily driver that has some style that also has that reliability that goes behind the Honda name, is the EX, is it truly that sweet spot for great value at a price point with the amenities that you come to expect from Honda? So let's go ahead, dive into this 2020 Civic Coupe EX and see if it really is that either great first car for somebody or great daily transportation at a fun, affordable price. Right off the bat, you'll notice the styling. Like I said, this 10th generation of the Civic has been a generation of a lot of discussion with the look getting a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more futuristic, and then of course the different trims uh, going all the way up to the Type R. Now what you're gonna get on this 2020 is you're gonna get your projector beam headlights, daytime running lamp is LED, and what's really nice is I like how bright they are because you could tell the daytime running lamps of a Civic from a mile away. Even when you're squinting with one eye and have the other eye covered by an eye patch. You drop down on the EX trim. What's nice is, is you're gonna get uh, fog lamps, a little bit of chrome trim. And what I'm so glad that they did when they redesigned this for 2019 is they just went smooth. Don't make it look like a fake vent. Don't make it look like a waffle iron or something like that. As we come across the front grille, it's crazy how by just using more black, it kind of cleans the look of the design. Now you do have the massive gloss black here, which is smart because it does go from one corner all the way to the other, kind of giving you that nice connection between headlights, grill, and of course the other set of headlights. But I like that flat black here, very, very clean. You drop down, you get a simple horizontal uh, slot here to of course bring air for that intercooler and the radiator. Cause remember this is a turbocharged engine. And I like the way they have just a little bit of a lip spoiler that kind of peeks out from behind the front fascia just to give it some character. Now, when we go up onto the hood, no matter if you're looking at a Type R, an SI, an EX, an LX, whatever, triple X, don't be watching those. But anyways, the body lines, very uh, all the same on the hood and it's got a nice style to it. I mean, the way it comes up in the front fascia and then kind of curves towards the windshield just gives it a nice, clean, unique look. Now, when we come around the bend on the EX, we're working with a specific tire and, and uh, wheel setup. So that's a 17-inch wheel, 215 on the width, nice meaty 50 series sidewall. Now, the great th news is that's going to give you a good ride. And if you're a newer driver or if you're just a bad driver, and you don't know how to park very well, it's better to have more meat to hit the curb rather than the aluminum wheel. Now, I, I love this dark metallic gray, especially on our uh, beautiful pearlescent white. I think it really gives enough definition to break the white up. Um, if this was a lighter color wheel, I don't think it would stand out as much. I'm really digging the wheel. Nice looking wheel. Very, very clean. As we go down the side, you are going to get that lane watch, which is something that is unique to Honda. So what that means is you turn on your right turn signal, you have a camera that's going to let you see past the blind spot in the Civic Coupe, give you great visibility and keep you safe. Color match mirror caps, very nice body line that comes up from about midway on the passenger door, well, on both doors, obviously, and brings it back towards that rear quarter panel. EX is also getting you a sunroof. So you're getting a lot of nice things sprinkled in at a nice price point. You have a shark fin antenna. I like the way they just do the chrome trim along the top, not the bottom, and extend it past. And then when we get to the back, hey, no rear spoilers, just a nice clean look. So you have coming off the trunk, kind of kicks up a little bit. You have that very, very unique, just like the daytime running lamps are unique, 
to the Civic, these tail lights, I'm telling you right now, even if you covered both eyes, you'd be able to tell that there's a Civic in front of you, especially at night. Now we are gonna zonk this fake vent. I wish they would have just smoothed this part out, but very, very clean in the rear bumper diffuser area. Simple Civic badge, and that's all you need. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering the Civic EX. All right guys, we got the hood popped. Simple prop rod. It's nice that it's all the way over to the passenger side. Underneath that hood, you don't have a bunch of engine plastic covers covering everything up. And it may look like a big mess of wires and tubes, but for a car enthusiast, I kind of like to see that because I know exactly what's going on under there. But if you notice up front, you have a turbocharger. So this is a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four, 174 horsepower, 162 pound feet of torque, the wonderful news is you could get this mated to a manual or a CVT transmission. If you're wondering well, what's zero to 60, zero to 60, you're looking around 7.8 seconds. MPGs, this is where you're gonna come out the big winner. And this isn't a hybrid, it's not an EV. You're not pedaling it like the Flintstones car. You're looking at 30 miles per gallon in the city, 38 on the highway. Like I was saying, you could clearly see the turbo underneath the heat shield up front. You have your um, inline four, you can tell this is a four because one, two, three, four, spark plugs are down in there. But anyways, great to see the flexibility, whether you want a six speed, whether you want a CVT, plus you're gonna get maximum MPGs. But why don't we get to the interior and see what the EX brings to the table. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Civic EX. I know you're like saying, well, Joe, you've been talking about value. How much is this particular Civic EX? Now, of course, we're talking MSRP, MSRP is right around $24,000. Let's see what you get for the money because I think you're gonna be surprised. Now to the door panel, I do like the breakup of black dark material with the silver trim, very tasteful. What I am gonna zonk is the cloth on the back portion of the door, even though it has contrast stitching and that armrest is atrocious. I wish they would just go with like a leatherette material, um, especially on the EX trim. So I am gonna zonk that. You do have a small pocket down there where you could probably fit a Whopper, maybe a Whopper Junior, and uh, a bottle of good old Coca-Cola. Now, when you get to the dash, I've always liked the design of the dashes in here. Soft material, I really am digging the texture that they use, the silver, more of that simulated stitching. We get to the center stack here, the way they integrate the AC is very, very smart. Get to the infotainment system, seven inch system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it's got that nice, easy to use swipe feature, which is great. You got your buttons. They brought back the volume knob. I know millions of people were very happy about that. Start, stop button illuminates red when you're on. You drop down, you do have dual climate. Remember, EX trim, heated seats. And then you're gonna have a nice little cubby up here to plug your phone in. And if you have the snacks, the Kit Kats, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, this is where you could put them down here and you actually run the cords down here and come out up top. Now this one has a CVT, but you can get a six-speed manual. Leather et material, leatherette on the boot with some contrast stitching. You do have an economics button. So if you failed that class, you hit this button and your report cards get changed to A's. I promise you that. No, obviously it's for better fuel economy. Electric e-brake. You got your two cup holders. How about a key fob? What does that look like? Honda's key fob, it's clean, it's simple. Flip it over, you got remote start and you can pop the trunk remotely. So when you're doing a drive-by and you're picking up some cases of soda, some Mr. Pib, just pop the trunk and they just throw them in there for you. Cloth, this is another zonk, but what I do like is that you can slide this back and then the cup holders actually slide. You have a USB and a cup holder for a super big gulp. So if you're gonna drink a gallon of soda, this will accommodate you. Um, or what you could probably do is, is get this all out of the way and just fill this whole thing up with soda. Just put a straw in there and just drink as you're going down the road. Little party tray up top for some peanuts so those don't get wet. Nobody likes a wet peanut. I know you thought I said the other word. No, that's that's your ears. I said peanut. Seats. I do like the texture. You got a little bit of a nice checkered flag, sporty design going on. You got the contrast stitching. The seats are soft and supportive. And this material, I mean, I'm sitting here. I sound like Run DMC scratching a record, but it actually has a nice wear characteristic. I think it's gonna wear very, very well. Of course, manual for both the passenger and the driver at the EX trim, but you do get a nice, smart sunroof. Get on over here behind the wheel. I wanna show you the business end of this Civic EX.
All right, guys, business end of the Civic EX. There, the, here's these manual controls. Now, I'm happy they didn't do those wheels that you have to crank like the hands of time. So the good news is it's easy to get comfortable in here. You are gonna get that um, great Honda sensing technology, which is wonderful. And Honda steering wheels are really amazing. The thickness, the stitch work. I'm not really the biggest fan of these buttons, but you know what? They work well and they look fairly clean with that Honda logo on the horn button. The dash, no matter what Honda Civic you get into, you're gonna get the same great dash up. So you have that tech and digital speedometer. I could scroll through a cornucopia of information. Even on the EX, you got a boost gauge, which is really nice. You have your bar graph, uh, line graph there for coolant and for fuel, and you can keep scrolling through the information in the center. Very, very clear. It's a nice TFT display. Visibility is great. I know you want to see it, so I'm going to do it. Let's check out the back seat of the coupe and see how usable it is. All right, guys, back seat time. Real simple. You just pull up on the lever. The seat really moves nicely out of the way. Just make sure this is out of the way so you don't hurt yourself, especially if you're a guy. You know what I'm talking about. So we're going to go ahead and get on in. Look at this. Six foot Joe Rainey. This is what I love about this car. Now, even though I don't have a ton of headroom, it's still very, very spacious back here. Let me sit a little bit better. It's still a little spacious. I'm actually gonna move over here because I know people like to complain that I don't show the seats. So here's the driver's seat, which I did not move. I got plenty of leg room, plenty of nice room for my uh, the bend of my knee. It's a little cramped here for somebody my height, but to be honest with you, it's not as cramped as a Camaro or a Mustang back seat, bar none for sure. No rear AC or anything like that. You do get a little, cubby in here for some peanut M&Ms and a nice little uh, Dr. Pepper or something like that. But other than that, it's not too shabby. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the trunk and see how spacious it is. All right, guys, I think one of the most amazing things about Civics, no matter which one you're looking at, is the cargo space. We lift it up even on the coupe. You have a nice wide opening. The seats are going to fold down by pulling the levers very nicely. And that's what makes this such a great choice is that you could have the style of two doors but yet you still got some flexibility. And then you know what? If the two doors are too not enough, you could go four door. And if you need a hatchback, they got you covered over at the big H as well. But while we go ahead, we talked about the Civic. Let's take the Civic EX for a spin. All right, guys, we left Tampa Honda. We're in the Honda Civic, that EX trim right in the sweet spot of the lineup to give you maximum value, but also give you certain amenities that you want to have in your Honda Civic, especially in this coupe. Now, right away, what I love about the coupe is sitting behind the wheel, there's tons of room in here. Even for a two-door, there's tons of room in here. Looking out of the front windshield, I like the way the hood kind of, you see it for a second, and then it just waterfalls down out of sight, out of mind. You got the two peaks from the fenders. That gives you perfect visual reference points and just really, really smooth uh, driving. Now, obviously, we have interesting people driving in Florida like we normally do. Never a dull moment on Rady's rides. I do have it in sport mode. And the way that you do that is you actually take the shifter. It's not a button. You take the shifter and you put it on S, which is sport mode. And that's gonna adjust the parameters of how this Civic, Civic EX behaves. Visibility out the back window, you would think it would be like looking out of a mail slot. It actually is really, really good out the back especially unlike the SI where you have a larger spoiler since there's no spoiler it's it's super clear visibility nice large window um, side windows and the mirrors are great size as well and you have that great lane watch when I turn on the turn signal it actually shows me what's going on on the right hand side of the vehicle let me go ahead and do a little bit of an acceleration test as we're rolling down so on throttle 174 horsepower, remember? Not too shabby. You know, the CVT, they do a really good job over at Honda with the simulated gears. Um, but you are still going to get, when you go on throttle and your foot's on the floor, you're going to get that loud engine drone that you find on uh, CVT setups um, based off of there not being actually any gears in the transmission. All right, guys, drivability of this car is so easy. The seats are very, very comfortable and supportive at the same time, which is great to see. And having that seven-inch infotainment system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, 
that's the technology side of things that you want to see having plenty of um, you know ways to connect your phone whether it be through a USB or a 12 volt but let me go ahead and get back on throttle again that turbocharged engine front wheel drive of course but you really do get up to speed very smoothly I'll definitely give the Civic with the CVT that is that it's very very smooth power delivery wise steering has a great thickness to it and I'm telling you right now Honda just does something different with their with their suspension geometry and everything else because you get great feedback no matter what Honda you're in even if you're in a fit or an Odyssey you get great feedback to the wheel which is wonderful all right guys I want to see how this Civic EX handles so on throttle On the brakes feeling good actually look at this nice turn in super smooth very direct brakes feel great back on throttle really nice very balanced very composed and I think that's another thing that's great about this car especially for somebody who's a newer driver is that it's easy to drive and it's not gonna get away from them by the drop of a hat which is great so that's really nice to know and this is in sport mode, remember. Um, you can just put in a drive and have a little bit different driving experience. All right, guys, over bumps, it feels good. Super smooth. Back on throttle. On the brakes. Look at this, this is wonderful. Not a lot of body roll, even though this isn't a sport, this isn't an SI, definitely not a Type R. Still shows that Honda cares about every single trim and giving you a nice engaging drive and i'm telling you right now it's quiet in this cabin really really quiet in the cabin i'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the drive for the rest of the review um while we're uh going up and down these city streets all right guys we have it in regular drive dash is easy to understand you got that nice large digital speedometer the tachometer that kind of rainbows over it and then you got your fuel gauge and your cooling gauge. Very simple, straightforward. Sunroof is nice to have in case you wanna, you have a nice cooler spring or fall day and you wanna let some of that air through your hair, which is a nice touch. And then you have even the flexibility to have a couple people in the back, uh, depending on how big they are. If they're Shaquille O'Neal size, I would say no. But you know what? A person little under six foot would actually be pleasantly happy back there. all right guys hopefully this gave you a nice overview about what the civic coupe in that ex trim is all about we're gonna wrap this up and get back to tampa honda so i'll see you in a split second all right guys been another great day here at tampa honda i definitely gotta thank sam and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 2020 civic ex is this a sweet spot a best bang for the buck if you want a coupe and you want some amenities, you don't need them all, but you want that safety technology, but you also want the Apple CarPlay, the Android Auto, and the other goodies like that, I really think that they knocked this one out of the park with the Honda Civic. But if it's cars like these that you want to keep seeing on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, Click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to get it at the Big Guns McGee out here, working it like there's no tomorrow. So thank you, Tom, for your hard work. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.